Now, it goes without saying that these questions on congenital adrenal hyperplasia annoy the shit out of everybody, okay? Now, here's the deal. It's not, and I say this in many of my clips, it's not our opinion that matters as to what should be high yield or what is supposedly nitpicky. This stuff is all over the NBMEs for step one, okay? I look at all the questions offline, online, and they're obsessed with these enzymes for congenital adrenal hyperplasia. I will walk you through this very fucking simply without the superfluousness, I promise. So before we get started, subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel and share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Hit the like button and also hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, and the link is down below. Now, let's start the fucking question. So we simply just have a four-year-old boy, and we just jump out right in front, and we say, we've got an elevated potassium at 6.4 mil equivalents per liter, normal range 3.5 to 5. Our bicarb is low. We have a metabolic acidosis at 20 mil equivalents per liter, normal range 22 to 28. You have to learn to take the fucking training wheels off, okay? I understand that on the real exam, you'll have the lab values there, but there's certain things you have to know in terms of normal ranges. Potassium, 3.5 to 5. Bicarb, 22 to 28. DHEAS, dihydroandrosterone sulfate, is an adrenal-specific androgen produced in the zona reticularis, the deeper layer of the adrenal cortex, okay? That's what DHEAS means. It means... When we see this in the question that's elevated, this is synonymous with uh, there being a hypersecretory adrenal cortex. That's the implication here. So we look at the answers and it's just merely which enzyme is deficient. Now, as I said in the preface of this clip, I'm going to make this very fucking simple. Okay. Obviously, there's a big diagram with all the enzymes. Things get very complicated. Students just sort of uh, resign. Okay. They enter resignation regarding these questions. What you need to know is this high potassium. That's the, you're only going to see high potassium in 21 hydroxylase deficiency, which is our answer here. So when you get these questions on the US simile and you instantaneously freeze, okay, just know the first thing you want to look at is the potassium. And if it's elevated right away, You've got 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Bicarb is also going to be low. Okay. Essentially, if you have 21 hydroxylase deficiency, this is upstream in the pathway of producing our mineralocorticoids or glucocorticoids. So we're going to have very minimal mineralocorticoid function. Essentially, not only are we going to have deficient aldosterone, but also deficient corticosterone, our aldosterone precursor. So we're going to have a high potassium, we'd have a low sodium, we'd have a low bicarb, akin to just having deficient mineralocorticoid. Question can also give you low glucose, okay? And that's from the deficient cortisol and the deficient 11-deoxycortisol, uh, which is the precursor to it. I And I understand already that even me discussing the names of these precursors, etc., makes things very fucking complicated. So just once again, if you get a question where there's high potassium, just answer 21 hydroxylase deficiency, okay? If you have elevated DHEAS in a question, this means you're either going to have 11 or 21 hydroxylase deficiency. It's either or, okay? So then you're just going to look at the potassium once again. You'd be like, oh, well, you know, Mike Melman said that, you know, potassium's elevated. The answer is 21 hydroxylase deficiency. Sometimes the question can give you blood pressure. If you have a low or low normal blood pressure, it's going to be 21 hydroxylase deficiency. If you have an elevated blood pressure, it's going to be 11 hydroxylase deficiency. Now, if you have 11 hydroxylase deficiency, as I just said, it'll be an elevated blood pressure. If they don't give you blood pressure in a question, similar to what I did here, I didn't mention the blood pressure, uh, you would just look at the, uh, as I said, potassium, it would not be elevated. 11 hydroxylase deficiency is a bit annoying because you can either have normal electrolytes or you can have the effect as though you've got increased mineralocorticoid. Okay, so potassium could be normal or low. Bicarb could be normal or high. 
and glucose could be normal or elevated. So because you'll have the precursors to aldosterone and cortisol, uh, although not having aldosterone and cortisol themselves. Now, I'm trying to keep this concise, okay? We could literally do like a 40 minute discussion on this stuff. I'm trying to just keep this very concise and high yield for you. I should also mention, uh, if they tell you in the stem that 17 hydroxy precursors are increased. So for, for instance, I told you here, DHEAS is increased. Now let's say I didn't mention DHEAS. Let's say I said instead 17 hydroxy progesterone or 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is increased. That means you have either 21 or 11 hydroxylase deficiency. Okay. The, the, it's the same thing. Uh, and then once again, you just look at potassium elevated, 21 hydroxylase deficiency, potassium normal or high, 11 hydroxylase deficiency. Now look, if 17 hydroxylase deficiency is the answer, it's impossible to have elevated DHAS and it's impossible to have 17 hydroxy precursors that are elevated. And you would actually have increased production of aldosterone in the stem, okay? So you would get a decreased serum potassium, elevated sodium, increased bicarbonate. This is as simple as I can describe it, okay? Once again, long discussion, but we just want to get you points, okay? Most of you watching this, I know you're going to freeze when you see these congenital adrenal hyperplasia questions on the USMLE. I get it. I empathize with it. So just in short recapitulation, you want to look at the potassium. If it's elevated, answer is 21 hydroxylase deficiency. If they give you blood pressure, normal or low, that's 21 hydroxylase deficiency, high blood pressure, high blood pressure, that's going to be 11 hydroxylase deficiency. Okay. When you have DHEAS elevated or 17 hydroxy precursors elevated. All right. 17 hydroxylase deficiency, you will not get an elevated DHAS. You are not going to get 17 hydroxy precursors and you would get low potassium. Okay. From the high serum aldosterone. Desmolase, I should just make a quick mention of it. This is just the most upstream precursor uh, sorry, the most upstream enzyme in the production of adrenal cortical uh, precursors, okay? This is upregulated by ACTH, so it's obviously just a filler answer here for the sake of having a choice D, okay? That's your short clip. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content sporadically. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.